now we're going to get started on our insect activity. So you should have a paper that looks like this. Okay, and then I'm going to spread out my labels kind of over here on the side. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the body parts to get us started, all right? So this right here is the head, okay? This middle section is called the thorax. The TH together letters make the th sound like thorax, okay? So this word's gonna start with a T and then an H, okay? Then back here is the abdomen. What letter says A, ah, like abdomen? All right, then these are the legs. Insects have six legs like we talked about in the video, okay? So insects have three sections of their bodies, a head, an ab uh, a head, a thorax, an abdomen, and then six legs, okay? That's part of what makes it an insect. Okay, so these are the six legs, okay? And then these parts that stick up in the top are called antenna, and they use them for sensing what's going on around them. So up here, these are the antenna, right? Antenna starts with a, so that's an A, okay? I have two labels that start with A, okay? One of them says antenna and the other one says abdomen. Abdomen ends with a n mm sound, so that's the wrong one. Which of these has an N at the very end? This one has an N at the very end, so that is not our label. So this is the one we want, antenna. Okay, so we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna glue down antenna. Oh, you know what, I just put it on, the, on here, but it actually is a little easier if you put it on the box first and then you glue it down. Okay, all right. Then this part right here, what's this part of, of our insect? Do you remember what I said? That is the head, okay? So find your label paper that starts with <sighs> What letter makes the <sighs> sound like head? This one right here, okay? So I'm gonna put the glue on my box and I'm gonna put my head label, okay? All right. Then this part right here, do you remember I said it is called the thorax and thorax starts with TH? So let's find our label that starts with TH. Okay, thorax. I'm gonna put my glue down. Okay, if I'm going too fast for you, just pause the video, okay? And I'm gonna put my label on, okay? All right, then this part out here, kind of the bum end, all right, is called the abdomen. So I'm gonna put the glue on the box and I'm gonna glue my abdomen label on, okay? It's okay if your labels aren't on perfectly straight. Okay, and then down here, this one, what is this? Is that a letter? This is actually a number, isn't it? It is the number six, that's right, okay? And then this letter right here is a lowercase l. And the lowercase l says, ooh. We did that one a few weeks ago, ooh. So this is legs, okay? And this is my legs box down here. So that is all of our part labels. We've got a head with antenna, and we've got a thorax and an abdomen and six legs. Now, we are going to make a model of an insect, okay? So, you can take your paper off, okay? And you are going to get out the pieces 
for your insect, okay? I'm gonna show you what pieces you need, okay? You need the egg crate that has three cups, okay? You have two in your packet, one that has three cups and one that has two cups, okay? Today we're using the one that has three cups, okay? And you will see that there's one side that has some holes in it with A's labeled, okay? And then one side that doesn't have any holes. So this is the abdomen. This is the bum end, okay? And this is your head end, okay? And then this part in the middle is your thorax, All right? So you've got your egg crate, okay? And then in your packet, you have a yellow piece of pipe cleaner that is like half size. And then you have three of the same color pipe cleaners, but you might have different colors. I have red, um, but there is lots of different colors that ended up in your packets. So you just take out whichever one you have three of the same color of, okay? That is what we're going to use to make our insect today, okay? So we're going to start with the antenna, okay? I am going to take my pipe cleaner that is the yellow half size one and I'm going to fold it in half. I'm not going to crease this part right here, but I'm going to pinch it a little bit, okay, so that it looks like a U now. You see how it looks like a U, okay? And then I'm going to take my head side of the egg crate and do you see it's got the, the letter A, okay, above the two holes in the front, okay? So I'm going to put my pipe cleaner in through those holes like that. Okay, so now all I see is a little bar and then on the inside, I have my two long ends, okay? Now I'm gonna take each end and I'm gonna bend it and push it through the hole. Again, this might take some persistence to get it in the right place, but I'm gonna push it through. Okay, I'm, I can maybe hold the front with my finger if it's starting to pop back. Okay, and then I push this end all the way through and then straighten it out. Okay, and then I do the same thing with this one. I put it through the other hole so that it comes out the front. Okay, so you go across to the hole that you haven't gone through yet with that side. Okay. So now I've got two, my two sticking out, and then these are our antennas. And antennas generally kind of go up or even back from the insect's body, right? In the um, ladybug video, book video, you saw that um, the horned, I think it's the longhorn beetle, there's their antenna really long and they like can stretch all the way back here. Ours aren't super long, okay? But there for you to antenna. And you can bend them however you want, but you wanna try and have them stick up, okay? And then when you are done and you're decorating, you're gonna to wanna to put your eyes here below your antennas, okay? All right, now we're gonna do the legs. This part is a little tricky, but you can do it, okay? Again, take a breath and be persistent if you're having a hard time, okay? You're gonna take one of your long pipe cleaners, okay? And you're gonna look at, when you're looking at the head, okay? This part over here is your left side, okay? On the left side, you're gonna see the numbers one, three, and five, okay? So you're gonna find the number one and you're going to put your pipe cleaner through, okay? And then you're gonna come over to the other side, okay? And you see the numbers two, four, and six, okay? So. I need my pipe cleaner here to go through this hole number two from the inside. So I'm gonna turn him over, okay? And I'm gonna feed him through hole one and into hole two. Once I go through, I'm just gonna double check and make sure I got the right hole. It actually doesn't matter that much if you get across, but you need to make sure that you've got one pipe cleaner coming through every hole, okay? So now I'm going to kind of Look at him and make sure that he's got about the same amount on each side, okay? So I've got about the same amount of pipe cleaner on each side, all right? So I'm gonna turn him over like this, so I'm looking at his underside, okay? And I'm gonna fold those up. Oh, that one's a lot longer, so I am going to 
slide it through until these are about the same length, okay? Now is the tricky part, okay? You are gonna take this end and you're gonna loop it through the same hole from the inside, okay? So I'm making a circle and see how my pipe cleaner is coming out here underneath, okay? And then I'm gonna gently pull and feed that through, okay? Until it kind of rests up against the edge of the paper, all right? And then it kind of bent itself, which is nice. That's kind of how we want our legs to look, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so you can see it again, okay? I'm gonna take my end and I'm gonna feed it back through the hole, the same hole that it came through. Okay, so through hole number two. Okay, and I'm gonna push down my pipe cleaner a little until that loop rests right on the paper. Okay, and that is my first two legs for my insect. Do you see it? Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the next pipe cleaner and set of holes. Okay, so over here is my hole number three and my hole number four. Okay, see hole three and hole four. All right, I'll look at it this way. Hole three and hole four. All right, so I'm gonna go through three and I'm gonna turn them over and go through hole four. And then I'm gonna fold up my legs. Okay, you pause whenever you need to to catch up with me, okay? All right, fold them up, okay? And then I'm gonna loop them through like I did before. So I'm gonna take my end and loop it back through that hole and pull it down and push it with my finger to get that pipe cleaner to go all the way down, okay? And then I do it on this other side too. Loop it around. Okay, if your egg carton rips a little bit, don't worry about it, okay? If it's not holding like you need it to, then you can get some tape, okay? But I kept this one because I ripped it when I was making them. And so I'm just not gonna pull this one really tight because this hole is a little bit ripped. So it will still work. Okay, now I've got two legs and I can kind of move my pipe cleaners around so that my legs will stand, okay? But this isn't an insect yet because it only has one, two, three, four legs and we need six legs. So for the last time, we're gonna go through with our last pipe cleaner, okay? I'm going to go through hole five to hole six, okay? So I'm gonna start at hole five. If you end up accidentally starting at hole six, it doesn't matter, okay? And then I'm gonna fold them up so that they're about the same height. Okay, and I'm gonna feed, oops, yep, my paper is broken there. That's okay. I'm gonna feed my leg through and fold it down. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And why, we are, why are we looping these? What do you think? Before we looped them, the pipe cleaners would pull straight out and our legs wouldn't stay. By looping them, we hold our legs in place so that they stay, okay? Now, I'm just kind of pulling up my legs so that I can get my insect to stand, okay? And there is my insect, okay? Now, I can decorate him however I want. I could glue things onto him. I could draw on him with markers or crayons or colored pencils. I could even paint on him if I have some paint at home. Or if you don't really want to decorate him, that's fine. You can just be done. When you are all done decorating him, send me a picture. I want to see your insect. Okay, my friends? That's it for your insect activity, except for a quick review of each of our parts. We did this to remember what the parts are. So we've got antennas a head, a thorax. Can you say that word out loud? Thorax. Good, thorax. And abdomen, say that one out loud, abdomen. Good. Antenna, head, thorax, 
abdomen and six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, my friends.